Yo, this is Christian and today I want to present you the Frontend Developer Guide 2021 and I think it's going to be the same for 2022, so probably next year I'm going to change the title. Anyway, there are a few things that you need to know and I assume you are not a beginner in this video, so if you are a complete beginner, probably you should watch another video of mine. Uh, maybe I'm going to link one of them in the description of this video, but if you are already past the beginning phase and you kind of know what front-end development means aka building applications not websites right a lot of people have this misconception that being a front-end developer means means to build websites we are actually building applications using website technologies like html css and javascript right because if you're just building websites you won't be making that much money and the the thing is when you build websites you should focus on text and images and design rather than like functionality okay so I'm talking about this type of developer, the one that builds applications, okay? So we talked about uh, the technologies here before, but I just want to reiterate what's important. I'm going to give you a set of packages that I think are necessary for you to know to become a good uh, front-end developer and a desirable front-end developer. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, we all know that, good. Fair enough, let's get over with it. The, the next technologies that I uh, work with in my program are the following. So React, Style Components, React Router, uh, Redux. Then you have to know um, React, uh, React Hooks. I forgot them for a second. You need to know React Hooks. You need to know how to work with an API because we as developers, we are handling data that's gonna come from a remote server, right? So our job in a nutshell is to take some data structures, some objects, some arrays, display them on the screen and then we allow the user to interact with those arrays or uh, objects and then we perform different operations, we change the screen, we move the user from one page to another one, we are creating this kind of magic tricks that are happening behind the scenes, right? So I was talking about APIs, okay? What else is important? Another thing that's important is to be able to take a mock-up design and recreate it, okay? You can start off by just copying literally websites that you find online, but that's not how you will be doing your work, right? Because the thing that you are <coughs> about to create for your company doesn't exist, so you cannot copy it, but you'll have a mock-up design, right? I hear a lot from people saying things like, oh, I'm not good at design, can I be a uh, web designer? Well. To be a web designer, you need to know design, but to be a developer, you don't need to know design, okay? So people are confusing these two terms, right? And they are going on tangents. They are trying to become web designers when the job is front-end developer. So designer doesn't have anything to do with development. I have done probably eight years of, uh, of arts in high school. I've been to this uh, school of arts in Romania for eight years before I uh, turned 18, okay? So I was there and I'm still terrible at design, okay? I was terrible back then as well, but I got in because well, I just know how to learn different things. So you don't need to be a designer. I'm not a designer right now. If you ask me to design something, I won't be able to do it. But if you give me a mock-up, I'll be able to replicate that mock-up and I'll be able to create a proper application out of it, okay? Now, what else is important besides this? It's important to have an idea of the application that you want to build before you start building it, okay? So many people are just jumping in, okay? And they are, they are figuring it out as they go along, which to a certain extent is fine, okay? But you should be thinking, you should take like maybe a week and think about what this application will do and make sure that you are not stretching yourself too far, right? It's, it's important to find a balance between what's needed and what's not needed. Now, I, I can understand that this can be difficult, okay? Because you don't want to be someone that has uh, app ideas. You want to be a developer, right? Me as a developer, I never come up with app ideas. Crazy, right? I never come up with a design. I'm not managing the project either, okay? Because that's not my job. My job is just to take a task from Jira, look at it, look at the description, develop it, deploy it, send it to QA, and the QA is going to send it forward, okay? So you need to take a few days off and think about this project that you want to build, okay? Pretty important. Now, a lot of people are 
doing another mistake. They have like a lot of projects, like 10, 20 projects, but they are all like features from an app. So whenever someone in my program builds up an application, that application is huge, right? Think about three, four, five, six, seven pages, right? It's a huge application. It teaches a lot of things. It teaches you how to scale an application. It teaches you how to think in the future, right? But most people don't have that, okay? Most people, they just build small apps. And if you would manage to put all those small features together inside an app, then you'll be making one of those applications that will be even more compelling. It is gonna help you land that dev job faster. I just saw recently on LinkedIn <clears throat> uh, an example like this, right? There was this guy and he had an, uh, a portfolio and he had a bunch of applications in there. The portfolio wasn't that great, I would say terrible, and he got hired. And I was like, hmm, interesting. So you can get hired like that. You don't need to have like the most amazing application, but if you have an application that you worked hard on it for a lot of months, you'll gain experience and you'll be able to pick up things quickly. What happened yesterday? I saw another post, he was looking for a job, so he got fired. Why did he get fired? Well, because he couldn't keep up. He couldn't be on board quick enough because his brain wasn't working at the capacity. It's not that he's stupid, but he did not do the preparation before the work. Okay, before you get onboarded, before you get a job, you need to be confident and you need to understand how to work on something long term. Okay, so you need to be scared, you need to be challenged by the things that you're doing on a day to day basis. If you are doing the most basic things, you're gonna get the most basic results. Okay, there is no heart sometimes into what people are building in their portfolio, it's just something thrown in there you know, because they saw it somewhere. There, there is no purpose behind those projects that they're building, okay? And I think that's how I'm gonna end it. It's 10 a.m. I think it's the earliest I've done a video, but I just wanted to see how this setup looks like. And yeah, um, if you are someone that wants to learn programming, if you wanna learn code, if you want to learn code because you want to work remotely, make more money, right? Have more time freedom, okay? If you're unsure about what you're doing, if you are overwhelmed by the available information, if you are rejected on a daily basis, right, by recruiters, by companies, and you don't know why, maybe you've been applying for one year and you never had an interview, there can be, something can be done and something can be fixed in there. Maybe it's just one little thing. Maybe there are a bunch of things. Maybe you're a complete beginner, right, and if you are still watching this video. Maybe you just finished JavaScript and you are about to start React. Things can be done in a, in a better way and in a faster way, which is gonna just get you more money faster, okay? So what you have to do is you have to apply for a free consultation call if you want to work with me directly. In this call, either me or someone from my team will show you how to get really good, good at code, really, really fast uh, for your specific situation, okay? So if you are ready to roll, if you want to learn code, if you want to work remotely, as I said before, if you want to start making more money, then this call is for you, okay? It's gonna be a 20, 30 minute phone call on Zoom. We'll chat, we'll see exactly what has to be done for you specifically. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.